Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name is Clinton Loftos and you're tuned into photomanipulation.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the easiest and the best way to apply texture to any image in Photoshop. I have used this technique a lot and it has to be done with a grey background. So make sure that the image you're using has been shot against ideally a 50% grey background. If you're new here, welcome. We're not your typical Photoshop channel. We specialize in photo manipulation, digital art and advanced Photoshop techniques. If that sounds like your kind of thing, be sure to like and subscribe as we put out new videos Monday to Friday. It's free, easy and it really supports the channel. Let's roll the video and enjoy. Before I start the tutorial, I'd just like to say a lot of the things found in this tutorial can be found in my Hollywood Pro setting course alongside things like styling and light effects and dodge and burn and there is a link to that course in the comments. So this is the image here that we are going to be basing this lesson off. So this here is an image I created quite a while ago uh, with alternative model Shelley the Inferno. So I shot her in the studio and I shot her with a grey background. And the good thing about shooting against a grey background is you can very easily blend many textures into that grey. So if you bring a texture in and you put it onto a soft light blend mode, it blends in to that background, but then it also keeps the, the tonal ranges from the light. So you still get the light that was hitting the background when you shot in the studio, but you've now also got this texture that blends into the grey and it just looks more realistic. It looks very realistic and there's many ways you can use this technique. So let me just quickly go through the original image and then we'll jump in to me showing you how to add the texture. So I'm just going to slowly remove the different layers and then we'll see what it looks like once we go back to the original image. And that's the original image. So everything which was on that background was all blended in just using soft light blend mode or sometimes you can use overlay as well. And that's it. It's super simple and it's very good to create these stylized uh, composite images and it's still probably classed as composite because you are bringing other images in and putting it into your image but you're blending rather than cutting out or uh, bringing loads of different elements in. you're just blending textures into the background. So now we've seen what the image looks like without, let's jump in and start showing you how to add these textures. So we have the original background plate here. So what I'm going to do is first, before I bring any textures into this image, is I want to make a, a very rough selection of the model. Now when I say rough, I mean rough. It doesn't, you have to spend a lot of time doing this and you'll see how I do it in a second. So let's go and get the quick selection tool up here on the left hand side of the panel and let's then just quickly start um, sliding it over the model so let's just get this in here and then let's get the back of the model here sometimes it will blend in to the background which is a bit of a pain so if you hold down alt you can then start removing that as well so let's just add a curves adjustment just to add a bit more contrast to this model. See if we can, let's pull the darks up and the lights up. Let's see if we just pull this a little bit. Just want a little bit of separation from the model and that background. So let's try this. Let's try again. So quick selection tool. Go down the model because we've created a little, oh, it's not doing it. <laughs> so let's just go back up again. It's just not going to pick out this part here. Let's have a try. All right, well, if you make the quick selection tool smaller, this is why I tend to use pen tool. It is a pain in the ass sometimes, these quick selection ones, and you always have to fiddle around anyway afterwards. But let's hold down Alt and let's just get a very rough selection. I mean, I know I wanted it rough, but 
having half of a back missing is a little bit too rough. So let's hold down Alt and let's just try and, try and grab this pose here. And that will, let's get this finger actually. This little bit of hands, this little bit of belt here, the bottom area. So we've got a very rough selection there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to select and save selection. And let's just call his body like so. And then let's press Ctrl D to get rid of that selection. Let's get rid of this curves adjustment now. We don't need that anymore. So basically that curves adjustment was just there to create some more contrast between the model and the background. So the quick selection tool could pick her up and separate her from the background easier. Uh, as you can, as you saw in real time, it didn't always work that well. Um, that's why I use the pen tool in most circumstances to cut out, but we don't need to do it for this, all these style images, as you will see. So what we want to do now is we've got the selection. So now I want to bring some texture in. So let's go and bring in this texture here. So let's press Control A to select all of it. Control C to copy it. And then let's go back to our image and press Control V to paste. And then let's press Control T to then resize this. So the light's coming from this way. So we probably want this way here because the light is coming down here we've got some shafts of light and then let's start resizing this to the same size as this image so let's bring it here and let's see if we can just something like that So what we want to do now is we want to go to select and we want to reload our selection that we saved. So let's go to load selection. Let's click up here on the channel box and go to our save selection, which was body. We click on that and then we press OK. And as you can see, we now have the marching ants around what we made around the model on top of our texture. <laughs> uh, I try not to laugh here, but this, this section looks a little bit um, dodgy. <laughs> Maybe having her finger like that wasn't the best move, but um, what we want to do now is we want to go down to our, our layer mask down here. But before we do that, what we actually want to do is we want to press Control, Shift and I and that will invert our selection and then we click our layer mask and boom we have masked away the model from this texture so we've, she is now in front of the texture it looks very bad obviously but this isn't finished yet trust me it's everything's fine so when it looks like this do not worry we're missing one magic ingredient and that's a blend mode so what we want to do is we want to make sure the texture is still selected and we go to our blend mode and we go from normal and we go to soft light and look at the difference of that we have the texture blended right into our background now and we still have the tonal values of the light um, and the darks and the light blends perfectly in with our texture so that's without that's with and what, if you, what you will have noticed as well is the selection blends in a lot better as well it just completely blends into the model it blends into the hair there might be some little areas where we can paint in and out because this is non-destructive. We can go in with a brush and adjust if needed. So let's press Ctrl plus to zoom in. So let's have a look here. So I mean, it's per it's seamlessly pretty much blended in. Now there's a little bit of the hair here. I don't know why Photoshop's beeping. Um, press B for brush. And you can paint away, you can paint the, the uh, texture in and out. So like so, like there, maybe a little bit here. So I'm just painting in and out now. But we obviously didn't need to do a lot there. Let's have a look down the rest of the body. Completely seamlessly blended in there. 
blended in, but ah, here we go, here's a nice little selection. Um, so, well, there was no selection, but we've the texture has gone over this part of the model. So what we can do, we can just easily paint this in and out now. So if we press X, set our brush to black, we can just paint this area clean of the texture, like so. And that's how adjustable this technique is. So we've got a little bit there and the rest of the body is looking pretty good. So like I said, we've blended in the model seamlessly with this soft light background technique. So let's have a look at this area here. So we can also, if you want, just paint it away. I'm not sure if that's part of the model's um, outfit or the background. It looks like a little bit floppy there. And then let's have a look. So again, you can see here how well it's it's blended in with the hair. So let me just go from soft light to normal. So that's normal. And that's soft light. It blends in seamlessly. So there you go. That's how to use a soft light blend mode trick on grey backgrounds. But as you can see, we, we don't, can't just, um, just use texture. Right? It looks a little bit bland. So what we can do is add other things in. So one thing what I added in was a, the blood. So let's go Control A, Control C. Let's Control V, the blood in. Like so. So again, you can just choose a blend mode which works for this. So multiply can work for this. Control T. And we can move this around. We can put it in the corner here. We can resize it. Something like that. And then if you wanted, you could bring in, so we have this hand as well, so Control A, Control C, Control V, and we can just put that onto a multiply, and again, it just blends into the background, so maybe if it looks like someone's been shot and kind of the hands against the wall here. And then if we wanted, we could bring another texture in, so let's Control A, Control C, let's bring this texture in, press Control V, Let's just play around with this now with Control T and resize it. So we'll resize it so it covers the whole image. So let's maybe rotate this a little bit. And the thing is, because we've created that mask, that selection, and then saved it, we can just keep using that. So obviously this is a little bit out of proportion, but this is just to show you. So what we can do now is we can just go to select, load selection, load the body, press OK, press Control Shift and I to invert that mask. And then if we just click on the layer mask icon, we get our model back. And then we just put this onto a soft light blend mode. And our texture, our second texture has blended in seamlessly as well. Obviously, you might want to lower the opacity of this one a little bit. So we've kind of got some cracks going along there now. And then the same you can do with type. So on the other image, we had some type on the wall. So let's go and click this here. In fact, we don't like that font. So let's click something a little bit easier to read. So we've got this Cyberdyne here. So let's select a red for this color a little bit darker let's just write i don't know cyberpunk let's press v for the move tool let's just move this here let's put this on the wall there and then let's blend that into the wall like so and then what we can do is we can let's rasterize this so let's right click go to rasterize type so we now have rasterized it and then what we can do is we can go to select load selection go to body press ok press ctrl shift and 
I to invert that selection and then press the layer mask and then we've got the text blended on the wall and the model in front of it. But what if you wanted to move the text around and keep that mask? So let's go to the text here. So remove that. As you can see, it's broken. So you couldn't move it over here. But there is a way around it. So if in the layer here, you see the text and the mask. If you just click on this little chain link so it disappears, what you can then do is move this text around behind the model and it keeps that mask. So again, you can do the same with the texture. If you unclick that, un un unlink it, and then let's just click on that texture. Again, you can move that texture around as well. So this is a great way of adding texture and editing your images. And that is basically how I created this image here. So let's just put all these layers back on. So again, this is with color grading and some dodge and burn. This is the final product. And it looks a little bit like a stylized computer game image or some kind of uh, digital art image. And you can get this effect by adding all those textures in and then just a little bit of dodge and burn and color grading. So that's it for today's lesson. I hope you found this of value. If you did, it would be awesome if you could like and subscribe and share the channel. We're very, very gracious for all the support what we get from you. And if you'd like to get a little bit deeper into some of these techniques, um, I go through some of these styling techniques like light and dodge and burn in my Hollywood processing course. And there is a link to that below in the comments. So thanks a lot, guys, and I will speak to you guys next time.